For decades, we've been told to drink milk to build strong bones. With ads saying milk does a body good, and every cafeteria serving cartons to kids. But what if I told you that much of what we're taught about milk is more about marketing than science? Today, I'm going to break down what milk really does in your body. And I promise what you learn may change the way you look at that glass forever. Now, let's start out with the most common belief that milk builds strong bones. Yes, milk contains calcium, but here's what the research actually shows. High milk intake does not guarantee stronger bones or fewer fractures. In fact, a large Swedish study published in the BMJ followed over 100 men and women and found that higher milk consumption was linked with more fractures and even higher mortality rates in women. The theory is that while milk provides calcium, it also contains animal proteins that increase the acid load in the body. To neutralize this acid, calcium may actually be pulled out of the bones, leading to the opposite effect of what we're taught. Now, that doesn't mean calcium isn't important. It absolutely is, but the source and how your body handles it matters. Think of your bones like a savings account. If deposits and withdrawals are happening at the same time, you don't always end up with more money. Now let's talk about digestion. Around 65% of the world's population is lactose intolerant. That means the majority of adults lack the enzyme lactase to properly digest milk sugar. The result? Gas, bloating, diarrhea, cramps, symptoms many people blame on, blame on other foods when milk is the real culprit. Beyond lactose, milk proteins themselves, casein and whey are common triggers for allergies and sensitivities. A casein, for example, can act like gluten in sensitive people, promoting inflammation, skin problems, or even respiratory issues. And some studies show that cow's milk proteins may stimulate the immune system in ways that worsen acne, eczema on the skin, asthma in susceptible individuals. That's why many people notice clearer skin or fewer respiratory issues when they cut dairy. And then there's hormonal effects. Milk naturally contains bioactive hormones and it stimulates the release of IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor. This is important for growth in children, but in adults, elevated IGF-1 has been linked to higher risks of certain cancers like prostate and breast cancer. You need to think of IGF-1 as fertilizer for cells. It helps them grow, but if cancer cells are present, they can grow too. Now combine that with the calories from milk and cheese, and now you can see why overconsumption becomes a significant problem. But here's another layer, inflammation. We know inflammation is linked with all diseases. Many studies, including the research in the journal Nutrition and clinical and experimental allergies shows that dairy can trigger inflammatory responses in sensitive individuals. And remember, chronic low-grade inflammation is a driver of many health conditions, from heart disease to diabetes to neurodegeneration degeneration that takes place in the brain. And this is why some people who remove milk from their diet report reduced joint pain, less bloating, and more energy. So does this mean that all dairy is bad? Not necessarily. Fermented dairy like yogurt and kefir are often better tolerated because the bacteria break down the lactose. And they could even provide probiotics that support our gut health. Cheese in moderation may not cause the same issues depending upon the person, but drinking large amounts of milk daily, as we were told in the past, may not be the healthiest choice for many people. Now you might be wondering if regular milk can cause these issues. What should I drink instead? Well, the good news is you have options. If you enjoy daily fermented choices like unsweetened yogurt or kefir, these are usually much better tolerated because the natural bacteria break down lactose and even give you those probiotics for your gut health. But if you'd rather go dairy-free, there are plenty of different alternatives. Almond milk, coconut milk, oat milk, hemp milk, soy milk. 
They're all good options, especially if you're drinking the unsweetened versions. Now, each one of those has its own nutritional profile, and many are fortified with calcium and vitamin D to support your bones. But the key, the main key, is to choose clean versions without added sugars or gums. And don't forget, you don't need milk at all to build strong bones. Leafy greens, nuts, seeds, beans, sunlight for vitamin D do an incredible job at supporting your skeletal system. The point isn't that you have to give something up, it's that you make smarter choices that work with your body instead of against it. So here's how I want you to interact with this. If you still drink milk daily, which many of us do, pay close attention to your body. Notice if you feel bloated, gassy, congested, or having any type of skin flare-ups. For one week, remove milk and replace it with water or non-dairy alternatives. See how your body responds. It will teach you more than any advertisement ever did. And if you're worried about your bones, remember that calcium is abundant in leafy grains, almonds, sesame seeds, and fortified foods. And what really matters for bone strength is a combination of calcium, vitamin D, magnesium, weight-bearing exercises, and reducing the things that steal calcium away from your bones. So let's recap. Milk has calcium, but it may not protect your bones. It can cause digestive distress in most adults worldwide. It can trigger inflammation and allergies. It can stimulate growth factors linked to disease. Yes, some dairy foods like yogurt or cheese may be fine for certain people, but the idea that milk is a perfect food for everyone is simply not true. Think about it. We are only the species on earth that drinks milk from another animal after infancy. It's not natural, and for many people, it's not healthy. So the next time you see that glass of milk, ask yourself, are you drinking it because your body needs it? or because you were told to since childhood. Sometimes the healthiest choices comes when we unlearn the myths what we've been sold. Milk doesn't always do the body good, but making informed choices always will. I hope you enjoyed this video and please share it with your friends and family, leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.